so you see I folded my dress in half and I'm lining up the armhole seam for the front and the back and then I'm pinning it down for security now I'm going to my armhole seam and I'm going down four inches and then I go over to the left of the armhole seam and the right of the armhole seam two inches and then I connect that first mark with the other two marks now I'm going to cut that excess away cut down the to the to cut down the line and cut it away I was struggling a little bit there in the back but I got it all right so I removed the pins now I'm going to fray the cutout that I just made and I actually have a video on that and it is the quickest and easiest DIY raw frayed um, hem video and if you want to go check out that video um, you can go ahead and go check out that video and I show you um, how I fray but I'm gonna go ahead and show you here on this video as well so what I'm doing is I'm just making snips along that cut the cutout that I just made I'm making snips along it I'm not cutting it too far it's literally maybe like um, not even a quarter inch it's probably like five eighths of an inch um, of a slit and I'm just going around now you're gonna see me start to pull apart each snippet that I made and I'm gonna do this all the way around our new cutout shoulder part you want to just pull it apart it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna go um, back and use a fine tooth comb and comb it out and you'll see me do that in a second that's what I'm doing here I'm now combing out the excess fray and it's that combing it and I'm going I'm going front back front back and then I'll brush it out front back front back front front back front back brush it out and then you'll start to see your fray form. And it's super duper easy. And to be honest, you really can cut out the pull apart. Um, when I was pulling it apart, you really can cut that out. It's not necessarily, you know, something that you have to do. It makes it easier when you're combing through it, but you really could just use the comb and just um, fray it from that. You could just take that other stuff out, but it makes it easier when you do pull it apart. All right, so now I'm gonna sew, make a new seam along our new cutout shoulder, and that's to prevent the frame from really um, like messing up in the, when you wash and everything, it, it really secures the fray. So make sure you sew that. It's just a basic um, straight stitch. Now I turned my dress and I, lined up the side seams and now I'm cutting out the side seam and there was a pocket in this dress so I cut out the pocket and I cut along the side seam to open it up all right so now I'm going to do the same thing to the new cold shoulder cutout I'm going to do that same thing to my side seam and I'm going to make some snippets I'm going to make some snippets on both sides of the cutout and then I'm going to do the same thing that I did with my cutout cold shoulder. I'm going to pull apart. Actually, I don't think I pulled it pull it uh, I don't think I pulled it apart on this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my comb just comb through. And you're gonna do that to both sides. So you're gonna then turn your dress around and do it to the other side. You're gonna do it to the other shoulder and you're gonna do it to the other side seam. And then you'll be complete with your new DIY cold shoulder um, denim top. I didn't like it as a dress, so I, turned, I made it into a cute little top. And there you are. Um, there's my top and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right. Bye.